welcome to my channel in this video we'll be discussing about the differences of immunogenicity and antigenicity immunogenicity it is nothing but let's assume a foreign substance it can be anything it can be a bacteria it can be a pollen or it can be any type of drug or any type of allergen so immunogenicity is nothing but it is the ability of a foreign substance to induce humoral or cell mediated immunity that is nothing but production of antibodies as in humoral immunity or activation of t cells as in cell mediated immunity the substance possessing the immunogenicity property is referred to as immunogen so basically immunogen is nothing but it is a substance which induces the production of antibodies that is formation of antibodies in humoral immunity or it induces the activation of t cells in cell mediated immunity let's learn it through a diagrammatic representation take an example of a bacteria this bacteria on entering your body as we know that with physiology knowledge it may activate the humoral immunity or cell mediated immunity first take an example of humoral immunity so the substance enters the body it activates the b cells it activates the b cells when the b cells get activated or stimulated they divide into plasma cells and memory cells so the substance enters into the body it stimulates the b cells the b cells then differentiates into memory b cells and plasma cells now this plasma cells in turn produces antibodies so now you understand that this substance or the bacteria which is entering the body it is inducing the formation of antibodies hence it is an immunogen now antigenicity antigenicity is nothing but it is the ability of the foreign substance to bind to specific antibody hence it is the binding property of the antigen as seen in this diagrammatic representation so with this we understand that antigenicity is simply binding of the ability of binding of the foreign substance to antibody while immunogenicity is the ability to induce the formation of antibodies now this thing is to remember all immunogens are also antigenic but all antigenic substances are not immunogenic let's understand the first sentence that is all immunogens are also antigenic as seen here the bacteria or en on entering into the body induces the activation or stimulation of b cells this b cells in turn differentiates into plasma cells now this plasma cells as we know that they have the function to produce antibodies hence antibodies are produced now this antibodies which are produced acts on the bacteria hence in the first step where the bacteria is stimulating the process of or inducing the process of humoral immunity hence it is an immunogen but at last the antibodies which are produced through this mechanism is also acting on that bacteria hence the bacteria is also binding to the antibody hence this bacteria has got both immunogenic property as well as antigenic property while in the second sentence as we said all antigenic substances are not immunogenic let me correct all antigenic substances need not be immunogenic how there is an example for example take haptin haptin it is also referred to as partial antigen haptin it has the ability to bind to antibodies but it cannot induce the formation of antibodies hence it has got antigenic property as it is binding to antibodies but it is not an immunogen because it is not inducing the formation of antibodies haptin take an example of haptin as penicillin over here hope you understand 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और वॉन्ट एनी टॉपिक टू बी एक्सप्लेन मैंशन दैम इन द कमेंट बॉक्स